Okay, so question 1.4 is along a railroad cut, a bed has an apparent dip of 20 degrees in a direction of north 20, 62 degrees west. The bed strikes north 67 degrees east. Use orthographic projection to find the true dip. So they give us the apparent dip. Um, so got mine there. So you'll need a protractor. Okay, so begin with north, south, east, west. And if I switch accents through this video, then, oops. Okay, north, south, east, west. Um, and I hope everyone can see this. So, first step is to do the strike, which is the north 67 east. So, 67 is about 5, 6, 7, okay, whoops, wrong one, ignore that one, 60, 5, 6, 7, there, okay, so from the origin to that point, so that's north 67 degrees, east. Now you have to do a line for the dip direction. So north 62 west. North 62 west. Again to the origin as if it's a Cartesian plane. North 62 degrees west. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to extend this line, the line of your strike, a little longer. And then from that you want to do a 90 degree line. So you want a uh, line perpendicular to your strike. So from this point up to here. And like that. So you've got this right triangle. Now from this, since this is your, your strike line, and it says, I'm sorry, the dip direction, and it says you've got a dip of 20 degrees, you're going to do a um, line from the hypotenuse of the right triangle in a direction, or in a, uh, from 20 degrees from that line. So, 20 degrees is there. So you want to put a line from there down to there. That is 20 degrees. And then from this point, you want 90 degrees. So, from that point, so from the other vertex of the triangle, that, that, to that, like that. So now that's significant because you want this length here, which we'll call D, and that's a right triangle. And then you're going to find out what D is equal to, so I use centimeters, that's 1.7 so you don't forget now you want to do 90 degrees from the um, leg that you drew not the strike line but the other one <coughs> 90 degrees so from that up to here okay draw that line indicate that 
And then you're going to use distance D, which was 1.7 centimeters. Seven. And you're going to measure distance D and mark that. So that's your new distance. So that too is distance D in addition to this. Then from down here again, I know there's a lot of lines, but from your origin, actually no, not from your origin, my, sorry, from this point here, the original 90 degree mark, you're going to draw a line from there to the end of distance D, and then you want to measure this angle, um, and let's see, previously I got 27 degrees, so let's see what I get this time. I get 20, okay, so 24. So I did it s slightly differently, but so the true dip, true dip is 24 degrees. I hope that's helped. I know a lot of people are having problems with this.